Hey YouTubians, what's up? I'm another XYZ. Welcome back to another club banger. Tonight, I'm jumping back into some more anti-MLM. It's tonight for me, it might be the morning for you. I, I don't really know. My demographic is all over the place, but you may notice that I'm a little bit less put together because honestly, it's been a couple days, took a couple days off because I recently found out that I just got a brand new job. I'm super stoked about that because for a while there I was sweating because I had been out of a job for a couple weeks and it was just not my style. I've had a job since I was 16. I'm about to hit a milestone age for me and it's kind of weird that I didn't have a job so I'm absolutely fucking ecstatic that I got a job so I've just been partying for the weekend essentially. <laughs> with that being said I'm ready to jump back into some more videos with some anti-MLM. And by anti-MLM, I'm actually taking some user submissions. I'm reading a few of these. Some of these are from my cont or my content section. Fuck, my my comment section. Uh, so, and I actually got one from my Instagram DMs. I'm gonna start with this Instagram one because for me it's the hardest because I share kind of a similar thing, but I was kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum. This person said they have anorexia. I was a really bad binge eater. Uh, I was definitely not like a purger who would like puke all my stuff up, but definitely a super hard binge eater. So like definitely on the opposite end of the spectrum, but I could definitely understand and feel this kind of thing. So we're gonna jump right in. I told this person, cause this person told me that they would not, they don't want their name or their image associated with this, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell the story anyway, because they were okay with it. I was 14 and deep into my anorexia. I'm currently 18 and luckily I'm doing quite better. But anyway, I was regularly looking for ways to lose weight. A lady from It Works messaged me at some point and I told her about my struggle and that it wouldn't be smart for me to get started with her wraps. However, she pressured me, she pressured it onto me, saying it's a great product that wouldn't harm me and it was on sale. So if I changed my mind, it'd end up being a bigger investment and told me that I could shed a few pounds and even look better after complimenting my face several times. Little did I know, I was getting into a contract where I was paying close to 100 euros per month. The wraps didn't work for me and caused my disorder to get worse. When I messaged her about this, she told me I was doing it wrong and that her product absolutely works. Me feeling like a huge failure, went ahead and bought more of the products, all while she slept, pressuring me to get skinnier. Mind you, I was, already, I was severely underweight already. It didn't stop until I was admitted to a hospital and my parents started monitoring every dime that I spent and noticed these big payments I made and forced me to cut them off after the three month contract ended. Wow. These Huns are coming to an all new low, y'all. I get that like, if they're larger people who are trying to lose a little bit of weight, but like anorexic people, holy shit. That's like, I gotta keep censoring all these words. I gotta start using substitute words, but like, I, I could definitely feel this because I, I was on the opposite end of the spectrum. I've always been really large because like there wasn't ever enough food in my house. And when I got to the point where I could afford food and I could start eating more food, I was just binge eating all the time. And I could totally understand where this person's coming from. This MLM crept up on her and it looks like it's it works, crept up on her and kept digging away at something that was already a huge problem for her. And for me, I don't mean to be white knight about it, but like, dude, that's wild. That's absolutely just an all time low for MLMs. And I don't know what your guys' opinion is on this. How do you guys feel about these MLMs that tell people about weight loss? Like I can understand, I, I could kind of understand people who are overweight because as a large dude myself, like for me, I don't know, I'm not the kind of person who's like, I, I can understand the whole body positive movement and like being positive in the skin you're in and shit like that, but being obese, like optionally obese where you can actually go out and do some shit and actually lose some weight and those kind of things for me doesn't sit right but for people who like obviously can't come out of that kind of thing or have like genetic predispositions and things like that like i can totally understand that aspect of it but for someone like me who was like intentionally binge eating and just like fucking their whole life up intentionally like it's preying on people on both ends of the spectrums which for me is absolutely wild and one of the things i noticed she mentioned 100 euros per month that means she's in the euro zone. And I thought MLMs were just like, and I, in my last video and a couple other videos, they did mention euros and other things got like pounds, I think. They're talking about UK stuff, but like, this is all over the world. This isn't just affecting people in the United States. This is fucking everywhere. And that being said, we need to be watching out for people, you know? Like this kind of stuff is not okay. It's not cool and people shouldn't be doing it. Straight up, just straight up. 
This one was a comment on one of my videos, so shout out to the homie MysticShine24. What no one knows is how hard they make it to leave. They simultaneously compliment you and berate you. They said that you have talent and purpose. But the more you kept refusing, the more they say you're a fake and you're not ready to, <laughs> not worthy to live the max life. The guy who interviewed me called me a child who would have no success or future because his MLM was going places and they were going to work with the top and I was going to still be babysitting for money when I was 30. I never felt more embarrassed, ashamed, or humiliated after that conversation, but I wanted to get audio proof that they removed me. They removed my name from the list of sellers. With all these anti-MLM posts, I can easily say that I dodged a bullet. Then they followed up. Hey, honestly, I never talk about it. And this was after I had messaged him about like, dude, tell me more about this place. I'm trying to figure them out. Like, who is this MLM? Oh man, but hey, honestly, I never talk about it because I feel stupid for being such a sucker. So it was a bit therapeutic to get it out. I honestly don't remember the name of it. It started with a P though. I tried looking on Google Maps for a marketing group in the area of Manhattan where I was interviewed, and I got nothing. So they either moved or shut down. In either case, I'm okay with that, lol. Oh, and the max life was something that they would, uh, so they say after someone came back to the office with a sale, like, guess who made a sale? X is living their max life! And everyone would cheer and hug and clap, and they seemed genuinely ecstatic. I thought it was such a great office culture where everyone was so supportive. Man, I didn't know anything at 19. When I was a sophomore in college, I got sucked into an MLM because I didn't know what they were and how to avoid predatory things like that. I sat through my entire interview. I bullshitted my way through knowing how to sell stuff because of course I did. And I eventually got a job offer. A job offer. 19 year old me felt so intimidated and so pressured because everyone looked happy. Their office was nice AF and I wanted to be just like them. All of the successful candidates and the interviewers and managers all went out for drinks and pressured me into drinking and dancing with saying that our, with saying that our company bond would be stronger by me doing so. I didn't then and still don't drink four years later, but I wanted to be like, I wanted them to like me. A few guys hit on me and grabbed me, even though most of them were in their late thirties. And I told them I was uncomfortable and left making up some bullshit excuse. I can't remember when I woke up the next morning, safe in my dorm and thankfully not hungover, my mom called and asked how the interview was. I told her what happened and she advised me to decline the job offer. Woof. Woof. That shit is wild. I'm about to censor so many cuss words in this video <laughs> so that YouTube will monetize my ish, but like, wow just wow like this is like a i think this is probably a smaller scale mlm like right when they first got started because they were actually doing stuff in their own office as opposed to like getting quote sales people in there and some of these marketing companies these quote marketing companies are definitely mlms but like i've been seeing a lot of them in my area that are very similar to this where they're like they look like a legitimate company and you go in and do essentially mlm stuff but in an office where they don't pay you, but you, they pay you on sales. It's kind of weird, but the part where like it really got me is like these late thirties dudes were just grabbing you and he told them you were uncomfortable. And it's just like, what? Like it's never cool to touch anyone or s tell anyone that doesn't drink like, oh, it's cool. We all go get, we all go get shit faced together. So it's totally normal for us. Uh, you come join us. Uh, you can live your max life. You can be making hella money. So these MLMs do, man. Even on the smaller scales, they get people. They try to break the barrier between like your job and your family. Anytime a job tells you that they're your family or that they're like something more than your job, it's you should run away honestly even if it's like a big giant company because even big giant companies do this kind of thing where they say oh you're a member of our family you're a member of the family not a member of the business and because they're your family they can get more in depth into your life and kind of root themselves into your life a little bit more it's not cool just not cool man this kind of stuff is the kind of stuff that makes it look like it's a like kool-aid drinking cult and this next one is from saffy girl this one is a post that was posted on one of my anti-mlm videos um i'm just gonna dive right into it honestly so a friend of a friend we'll call the actual friend janey and the friend of a friend marty was deep into quitar i'm calling it quitar i don't know if that's what it's if it's actually pronounced quickstar i'm gonna call it quitar because I, I would just imagine the x is silent but 
It was deep in the Quitar, and my friend Janie begged me to go to one of her parties so that I could support Marty. She demonstrated crap for two hours before we finally were able to tell her. We'd investigated this new opportunity and found out it was just Amway. She then hysterically shook her head and almost yelled, No, no, we are not Amway. Quitar is its own amazing opportunity. Feigning having to get the kids home to bed, we excused ourselves, but not before getting forced into a home demonstration by Marty. Fast forward a couple days, she comes over to my house with cosmetics. She says to me, I noticed you don't look your best when you came over the other night, so you could use some of our high quality cosmetics. She was there a grand total of 15 minutes and I finally had enough and said, look, I don't wear cosmetics because I'm allergic to them. I don't want them and I don't need them. This was her response. Your husband isn't going to stand for that, you know. A man works hard every day. He expects to come home to a beautiful woman wearing quality cosmetics. And let's face it, after the kids, you aren't looking so great. If you don't buy some of this makeup today, he might just consider looking elsewhere for a pretty face and he'll have to leave you and the kids behind. And you'll be forced to remember that I tried to help you. That's it, I told her, get out. Your products are cheap. You're working for Amway. You are not a smart person. I would never buy a single thing for you. Look up Quitar and get a clue but never contact me again. She grabbed her stuff and flung back a bunch of insults, mostly consisting of, I can't wait to hear your husband cheated on you. Then I can tell you I told you so. I've never been so furious in my life. Wish I had sent my foot straight up her ass. Well, a day later, Janie contacted me on Facebook saying what I did to Marty and we couldn't be friends. She spun this sad tale of the little housewife who was trying to make ends meet because her husband was a loser and couldn't hold a job. Now I tried to assault that poor housewife who said nothing to deserve it and how she couldn't believe I would do such a thing. This was the version she was told and to be honest, I didn't try to refute it. If she was dumb enough to believe that crap, then perhaps she should be dumb enough to buy this woman's junk. And I said, well, since you've already decided she's telling you the truth, you gotta do what you gotta do. And that was the end of it, for me anyway. Fast forward eight months where Janie sends me a message out of the blue saying, yeah, I'm sorry for what I said. I spent the last eight months buying awful tasting peanut butter and laundry detergent that didn't work because she lied to me. And I figured she lied to you as well. She's about 8,000 in debt for buying products she was told she had to buy for quotas she was trying to fill. And I've got four jugs of peanut butter in my cupboard I can't even give my dogs. She just asked us for a loan last week. I told her to get a job. She didn't like that very much. We stayed Facebook friends for a while, but we're never really good friends again. And from what I heard, Marty and her husband almost got divorced because he had to take on two jobs to pay, on her de pay off her debts. So he went from deadbeat to working 14 hours a day. And Marty, well, she became a spiritualist that extolled the virtues of, you guessed it, essential oil. <laughs> At least she didn't lose the farm over this bit of stupidity, shaking my head. Wow, that last one is wild. That's a journey of a fucking story, man. I'm gonna have to censor so many words in this because YouTube, I don't want them to monetize me, but she went from Amway to essential oil. Just yikes, man. He's that's how they get it, man. They get they get women in compromising positions and they compromise them even more by just building up on these just like slight imperfections, you know, just like the slight standard things that, you know, people should be okay with. Like, if you don't wear makeup because you're allergic to makeup, then don't fucking wear makeup. <laughs> like, it's cool. Like, man, this kind of stuff is wild. And I hope that these videos, honestly, these anti-MLM videos, Send a message to somebody who may be interested in MLM or like Amway or It Works or anything along these lines and realize that it's not a good move because all they're going to do is milk you of everything that you ever had and they're just going to treat you like crap, man. That's what it's all about. they got to make that money. they to keep you feeling like crap so you can make other people feel like crap so you can be part of their crap downstream. <laughs> so they can have the four people under them who have the four people under them who have the four people under them so they can make money and they could be like... Uh, you know, emerald level so they can start making enough money so they can have like a thousand bucks a month. It's just like, it's ridiculous, guys. It's ridiculous. That being said, though, I am still accepting creepy PMs submissions. I only really have one from Instagram. You guys can hit me up on either my Instagram at another XYZ, drop me a DM there with a creepy PM, or drop some of your anti MLM or creepy PM stories below. I'm down with featuring people's stuff in my videos, so just let me know. And also, just remember, y'all, no glove. No love. Peace.